helmet mounts, and finding out what you need. So the main two helmet mounts that you're gonna come across is gonna be the bayonet horn interface, which is the USGI standard, and then the dovetail interface, like this one here, the Wilcox PVS 14 J arm. So with the bayonet horn interface, those are typically used on a monocular setup, like I have here, this TNV PVS 14. Simply you'll screw this arm into the stud mount on the PVS 14. Here I have two different models of bayonet horn interface mounts. We have the Wilcox G11 and the Nerodos Rhino. So with this bayonet horn interface, as you can see, it accepts right into this slot right here until you hear an audible click. And that knows that you're seated. Similar to the Rhino, the audible click will not be as prevalent as the G11, but you will get a confirmation click to make sure that it is seated. So on all PVS 14 units that come from TNBC, it does come standard with the USGI J-Arm bayonet horn interface. So the only thing you will need to mount it to a helmet is gonna be either the G11 or the Nerodos bayonet horn interface mount. Another mounting option for the PVS 14 is gonna be the dovetail. So right here we have the Wilcox PVS 14 dovetail arm. So in addition with the Wilcox PVS 14 J-Arm, we have the Wilcox G24. Post 2021, there was an update to have an extended travel as in the G22E. So all new variants of the G24 will have that extended travel. Another option is the Nerodos Losto USMC push button configuration, which is also a dovetail interface. Similar to the USGI J arm, you will have a stud mount for this J arm that'll screw in. And then you'll see a trapezoid shoe that'll interface with that helmet mount. You will hear an audible click, very faint, but it will lock in. Give it a tug, make sure that it, it still is locked in there and it's not inadvertently gonna come apart on you. Same thing with the Nerodos Losto USMC, still has that trapezoid. Slide that in there, you will hear an audible click. And that's the dovetail interface for the PVS 14. So talking about mounts for the dual tube night vision system, right here I have the RMVGA. So like I just explained on the PVS 14, these will accept the dovetail interface. As you can see on the top, similar to the Wilcox PVS 14, it does have that trapezoid shoe and it'll lock into that G24 or the Nerodos Losto USMC push button configuration. You will line that up, give it a small tug, make sure that it's not gonna come loose on you and now it's seated correctly. Same thing with the Nerodos Losto USMC. Line that shoe up with the mount and you will hear an audible click. Give it a tug, make sure that it's not gonna come loose on you and you're good to go. So the four helmet mounts here that you see are the most common. There are a variety of mounts out there. You can pick and choose which one's gonna work best for you. All right, with all these options, we absolutely recommend having some sort of retention device for your night vision in case it inadvertently gets dislodged from the mount, you trip, you fall, end up coming in and out of a vehicle or hit it on a branch and it pops off. It's a lot better to have a you know inexpensive uh, retention device than potentially damage uh, or destroy your 10,000 plus night vision device. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or go onto our website at tmvc.com and you can email us at sales at tmvc.com for more information.